Oh, good day. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anne and this is Wibbly Wobbly Book Nerd and today I am filming my Spookathon wrap up. I have not finished all the books that I was supposed to be reading because Ninth House is a little bit difficult. It's not difficult to read but it is just I get through it so 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 slowly and it is a little bit annoying. I do love the story though. But let's get into the books that I did read, because I did read four other books, which I'm very proud of, because I read four books in a week. I mean, how did I even do that? I don't even know. I've written down all the books that I did read, so I've got my notebook there. Um, for the first prompt was read a thriller. I read a My Lovely Wife by Samantha Downing. Um, I absolutely loved this story. It was about a husband and a wife who had a dark secret and meanwhile a um, serial killer was running around in their town and um, stuff happens. I really enjoyed this story. I enjoyed that it was told from the perspective of the husband and that the wife was uh, truly a scary person. So I gave this book uh, 4 out of 5 stars and I really enjoyed it. The second prompt was read a book with red on the cover. And for that prompt, I chose Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, the audiobook narrated by Stephen Fry. I love Harry Potter so much. I am sorry, internet, will you stop? Wait a second, what is even happening? It's Twitter notifications. Let's turn the sound off. There you go. Okay, where was I? Harry Potter. I love it so much and I always do a reread in the autumn or in the winter because they just make me feel very autumn and wintry. So I reread Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I again gave it five stars because it was just that great. And not because it is actually the best book ever, but because of nostalgia and because I love it. Just that, I love it. Then the third prompt was read a book with a spooky setting and therefore I chose Ninth House, which I did not finish. I am just over halfway and I desperately want to finish it soon because I do love the story but <laughs> I just keep reading other books in the meantime and ah, uh, I don't even know why. But okay, there's nothing to be done about that. Then prompt number four and the third book I read is read a book with a spooky word in the title. And for that book I chose City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab, you know, ghosts. Spooky. So I chose that one. That is a middle grade about a girl who can see ghosts and her parents are ghost hunters or ghost finders or whatever and um, they travel to Edinburgh to record a new TV series and she can see ghosts. So I first of all I love V.E. Schwab, second of all I love ghosts and third of all I love Edinburgh. So. It was great. I give this book four stars because I loved it, but it wasn't the best book I've ever read. Then the last prompt was read something that is outside of your comfort zone. And for that, I chose a book because of an author that I had never read. And that was All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. I know this is not a spooky book at all, but I don't care because I had never read her books before. So for me, that counts as out of my comfort zone. Um, I know that the characters in this book are problematic, but to me that means that the characters are flawed and not that the writing is necessarily bad. And I loved this story so much. It made me feel all of the things and I cried and therefore I gave it five stars because I just loved it that much. So yeah. I know this was a very short video, short but sweet. and. I had a pretty good reading week. I will definitely participate in Spookathon next year because I loved it. I loved having to or being able to read so many books just in one week and all of these prompts really get me into the reading and I love it. I just love it. It's great. So um, that is it for today. Thank you all for watching. If you've read any of these books and loved it or didn't love them and you know Tell me why. Leave it down below in the comments. I will read everything and I will respond to almost everything because I love 
connecting with you. And if you like this video, you can like it because that helps me. And I will see you all again in my next video. Goodbye.